We call on you a radical. So the good news and the bad news. So the good news, another one bites the dust, another one gone, another one gone. These water boilers that have been heating up the atmosphere and causing acute radical global warming, which are called nuclear energy reactors, the worst thing that ever happened to the world was when they developed the Department of Energy, the bomb, the bomb, you know, who's the only one to ever drop one? So maybe Putin's going to be second. They're passing out iodine tablets in Poland and in Austria, you know, scary times, really scary times. Putin's get desperate, you know, he should have been dealt with decades ago. Czar Putin, I've been going off on him since the 90s. You know, the worst thing that ever happened to this country, no bummer dumber. You know, remember he was the big peace freaking thing going to save us. And I was on Danish show last night and I was talking and I said, really, I think if anybody on earth would have been president besides Obama or Dumber, the puppet, the nuclear energy puppet, there were, when Fukushima happened, there would have been a worldwide moratorium. In the United States, it would have been over. And then, of course, we get pro nuclear Trump. So you got the two most pro nuclear energy puppets in history became back to back presidents. Of course, Sliden Biden, he was the vice president under, I mean, this is the trilogy, the Fukushima. I mean, talk about war criminals. So the reactor in Belgium shuts off today, you know, just in a few hours. I'm going to do a little celebration. You know, I got my Belgian beer that I usually drink, my elephant. So I'll have one. I save them every time another one goes down. And I like how. Reuters report in the United States, yay, there was 104 a decade ago, now there's only 94, and it's because of security. What lies. There was 104, there's 68. Should we start marking them down? Yankee goes down. There's two of reactors there. San Onofre goes down. Two reactors there. Oyster Creek, all three of them in Jersey go down. That's nine reactors there. Indian Point, three reactors go down there. Calhoun goes down. Dwayne Arnold goes down to each nuclear reactors. I won't stop there. We would have been down in the 40s if it wasn't. Yay, bellouts, bellouts. King, status King Cuomo. He just inked up some more. It just shows you they own the world. If the nuclear energy crime, they own the media, they own academia, and how? The Department of Energy. The Department of Energy was started as the Department of Nuclearism. Right? Right? Let's go to the swap meet. Let's go to a movie. So, right, they were departed as... Who started it? Who was the original... Pro Jeff Bezos' grandfather. Look it up, guys. Jeff Bezos' real last name is not Bezos. He was adopted by Ted Cruz. You know, Ted Cruz, I need to see his birth certificate. He wasn't born in the United States. You know, Bezos and Jeff Be and Ted Cruz's father are both bad pigs. It's like when I used to talk about... I'm the guy that exposed Jill Stein. I said, Jill Stein's Russian. She's a Russian KGB. Her father is most likely the guy that did Dillinger. Everybody used to laugh at me. I'm like, oh, really? You're going to laugh? It was our group that dug out her stock portfolio. If she's green, I'm a rainbow striped giraffe. <laughs> Look, and then the picture shows up. General Flynn? Talk about treason. General Flynn, what Jill Stein, sitting with Putin... For the 10 year celebration is RT. You know about Mikhail Lesson? Do you know about Mikhail Lesson? Oh, I do. I could write a whole book just on Mikhail Lesson. Toss, Toss provides state run media. You think they have state run media in Russia? What do you think this is? CBS, ABC, NBC, freaking BBC, Reuters, freaking the Queens. You're good peasants. You're King Charles now. You're his. Talk. Just remember. Fukushima. Did anybody report it? Oh, hell no. Just the greatest ecological catastrophe in human history. That's all. Full blown out nuclear meltdown. So another one's gone. Another one's gone. So worldwide, we had 410. We're down to 267. Now, everybody, oh, China. Remember when China was going to put on a fast breed or one a month starting in 2010? Guess how many they put on? Remember their generational five? Westinghouse, bankrupt. Remember Chicago Bridge and Iron? Bankrupt. Remember Westinghouse? Bankrupt. Remember Riva, Riva, Riva? Bankrupt. The whole nuclear energy crime scene, it goes down. Because the elephant in the room, deep in their subconscious, Kevin Blanche, so you don't think it's there. But it's there. It's like people walk up to me all the time. They're like, oh, uh, uh, you know. 
you all act like you don't know as the nuclear energy cancer slowly grows let's go to the drive-in so another one's gone another one's gone global especially a cute global warming okay let's just chalk it all up right we're gonna chalk it up we're gonna chalk it all up okay the predicted by kevin blanche for hamlet and cassandra got together had a baby he sees for miles and miles let's review it's going to cause a heat bubble over the western united states this is march 2011 they're lying they're lying and lying there's a full blown out meltdown it's never happened before it's going to put an energy into the biosphere unforeseen in the history of mankind we don't even know what it is it didn't happen to my act didn't happen to chernobyl didn't happen to oh san Susana. don't you cry for me i came to utah with a load from san Anna. what's that i don't ask all these nuclear disasters shock river all of them it never happened these are full corn out meltdowns. I will quote Albert Einstein himself. Hell of a way to boil water. Kevin Lynch, hell of a way to boil a planet. At some point, we're going to get a meltdown, and this is going to release uh, energy into the biosphere that we have no clue what it is. It will mutate. It will cause all kinds of death and destruction, stuff we will not even understand. Including viruses, blah, 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 blah. Albert Einstein. Well, will humans adapt? Well, what about the animals, Einstein says. Well, and then he goes back and... Humans are animals. Albert Einstein. Yeah, humans will adapt in 50 to 100 generations. So we're just going to chalk it up to quench just the greatest energy release. Oh, God, that energy in the Pacific Ocean couldn't do it. I remember walking the coast of California, 60,000-pound well, and I took my roller out, and it was dying. I had my hands on its head as it died. I wrote, Fukushima killed me in its own blood on it. This person comes oh my god get in there radiation can't kill a 60,000 pound well I said I never said it did you broke the chain you promised you would never break the chain lie 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 tell me lies tell me sweet little nuclear energy lies what did the upper California purple urchins say to the starfish the starfish say to the 60,000 pound humpback well Fukushima killed my food. The starfish replies to the 60,000 pound humpback Well, We too, we from the sea. I fight for her, she fights for we from the sea, Kevin D. Remember I did all this work in critical condition, given two months to live and when? I went to the bone marrow trance on 11, 11, 11. What did you sleep last night? Did you fucking lie to me? I slept in the dead fucking pines with the sun's from Fukushima, Japan. Oh, they always shine. TikTok, Diablo Canyon, nuclear energy clock. You're going to chalk it all up to coincidence. It's going to cause a heat bubble. Did it? Did it cause a heat bubble in the Western United States like Kevin Blanche predicted? Just the greatest drought in 1,200 years. That's all. Just like Kevin Blanche predicted. Great Salt Lake going to go freaking dry? It's coming up on 10 years. My Spiral Yeti video, how historic is that? It's going to wipe out the tide pools first. Starfish in the upper California will go, did it? Did it? They're just down 99%. Just my tide pool work alone. Me, oh my. Nobel Prize. The salmon will fucking begin to collapse. The steelhead will collapse first. Because they go to sea. They're called half-pounders when they come back the first time. Go see one, two years. Did they? Did they? On cue, 99%. The Chinook salmon will collapse in 2016 because they go to sea for five years. Record returns, 13, 14, 15. Did they? Did they? On cue. So that's how great science works. You can deny it. These marine biologists know what, you know, San Diego State, Cal Berkeley, freaking Weber State University, scientists, biologists, zoologists, they should be all locked up. They're criminals. You know, the criminals, they committed fraud, you know, to ignore the greatest ecological catastrophe in human history, and history will play it out. It'll take a while, but history will play it out. You had one guy, the greatest PhD opportunity.